Hello everybody, Andrea Trevsky here, your online business coach to help you make the most money as possible from your online business sooner rather than later, okay? So what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is being focused in your offerings. Um, so whether you're offering a product, a service, a digital product, whatever, but try to come up with a brand first so that that will kind of teach you and make you be as focused as possible. And I say to come up with a brand because in order to come up with a brand, you have to think about what your offerings are. You have to think about your target market. You have to think about things like colors, logos, all kinds of things. But if you're not focused, then it makes it difficult for buyers to know what you're doing and what you're selling and they tend to get confused whereas you know if you're let's just say you're selling um makeup okay you make your own natural makeup you make your own body um scrubs natural bath bombs you know things like that those all make sense okay like things natural things you would put on your face makeup body you know things like that but then if you start offering um pet supplies, then people get confused and your target market completely changes. Somebody who's looking at pet supplies might not be looking at natural makeup. So, so if you do have multiple talents, open up multiple shops, honestly, make multiple websites, whatever, but don't have many different things in the same shop because again, it confuses customers. And when customers buy, they are buying from you. They want to like you and who you are. And when somebody's offering multiple things, they don't really know who you are and you don't even know who you are. And we all make this mistake. Even myself, I have many, many talents I like to think, okay? So let me just kind of tell you guys what I do. So I was a dental assistant. I've been a dental hygienist and a restorative hygienist now for about two years. So I love teeth but I also teach dental hygiene and dental assisting students, so I'm a teacher. But I also help people start their own businesses online, so I'm an online business coach. But I also help um, people who are selling for a direct sales company, so I do help them promote and help them sell so that they can make as much money as possible and not have to spend any money. So all of those things, if I put all of those things on one website, oh my gosh, people would get so confused. Imagine if a dental assisting student came to my website but saw LipSense on my website, or they saw that I'm doing an online course to teach online um, business owners how to sell. That dental assisting student would be like, okay, I came for tutoring, what's going on here? and vice versa. Let's say um, you came to my shop, um, or I should say my um, um, website, and you notice that I'm tutoring dental hygiene and dental assisting students. You will have thought that you've come to the wrong place. Even if you see it on the website somewhere, you will still be thinking, okay, how can a dental hyg um, hygienist be teaching me how to run my own business? Or somebody could be thinking, well, how could an online business coach be showing me how to pass the board exam. You know, it works both ways. You may have many talents, but they don't always come together. And I'm a perfect example. I have at least four different websites because I have different niche markets. But I do many, many things because I want to be able to work from home and, and I love everything that I do. My mission is to help people in whatever talents that I have and a little secret is that's kind of how you make more money also is by sort of doing many different things and then finding out what might work for you more than some of the other things. So then eventually you can focus on the one thing and not so much on the other thing. So does that make sense? So um, I think I saw a post actually somewhere um, in a group where somebody was asking if they need to focus on one thing. And I did comment and say yes, but then some people were saying no. So I think it's different for, for everybody. But ultimately though, you should have focus. But if you have so many talents and you just simply can't stay focused, that's okay. But that means that you have to work three or four times as hard as everybody else to have many different websites, many different email addresses in some cases. You'll have different clients. You will sort of have to pick apart like, okay, I'm teaching this day, I'm doing online coaching this day, 
I am helping clients with their social um, media this day because that's what I do. Like I have certain days of the week for certain things and I love all of it. Am I going to start something else? Heck no, because I have enough things now that I'm doing. But especially if you're new at this, if you have just started your shop, stay focused and see if that works first. I mean, it will work, but don't try to make so many different things and then try to reach so many different people because it doesn't work. When you focus on one target market, that's when you make the money, you guys. Honestly, when you focus on one thing, that's when you make the money. Even when you're making something, don't um, make 10 different shirts and 10 different leggings at once. Make one shirt and do it right and then advertise that like advertise the heck out of it. Like I said, do not make 10 shirts and then 10 leggings and then try to advertise that. Do one thing first, because even if you think you can do 10 things at once, you will get overwhelmed and you will hate it. You will hate what you do. You will want to give up and you won't want to do it anymore because you'll be working 18 hours a day and you'll be thinking, okay, I'm working from home so that I don't have to work 18 hours a, um, a day. I started my own business, so I don't have to do this all day, every day. So why am I working so much? I'm just going to give up, okay? That's the worst thing that you can do. But staying focused helps you brand, helps you focus on a target market so you can advertise to them only, and it does help you too. So you know exactly how to explain your business when somebody asks. There's nothing worse than saying, well, I sell pet supplies, but I sell leggings and I sell natural makeup. So I pretty much just do it all. People get confused because they also think, okay, she's doing five different things. Is she doing anything good or anything well? Or is she just sort of doing a little bit of everything and not really focusing on one thing? That's how people think. So I hope this helped. I do think that you do have to have focus and pick one thing and focus on that. But that's just my opinion. So if you need anything, please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.